everyone. I was just playing dressing up. I was imagining I was under the deep blue sea. And you know Ms Lake loves dressing up and all the colours of the rainbow. I'm not sure what I am. Maybe some kind of magical rainbow fish or a lobster. Oh no, that's a fishy noise. <laughs> well, it's good that you're here because I have got a wonderful special story to read together. Would you like to see it? Boing! Can you find the title? There it is. It says, Julian is a mermaid. What's a mermaid? Oh, yes. You might have seen Ariel, the little mermaid, and she's got a lobster pal, hasn't she? And I know that some children dressed as mermaids when we had our, it was fancy dress at school. I don't think it was World Book Day. There was a special day when everybody got to dress up as a character or anything they liked. I love dressing up and I love imagining my way around the world. Let's find out what Julian likes to do. Who do you think that is? Yeah, I think there's a good chance that might be Julian. And look, he's got a headdress like me. can't wait until we can all go swimming again. Oh, that's nice. It says for Nana. That means that the person who wrote this story wrote it for their Nana. Isn't that kind? Okay, let's read the title together. Can you point? Boing! J -j Julian is a mermaid. Is that the title too? No, that's the author. The person who wrote this book is called Jessica Love. What a wonderful name, Love. I'm gonna come closer so you can see these beautiful pictures. This is a boy named Julian, and this is his Nana. And those are some mermaids. In real life? Julian loves mermaids. Look at those pretty mermaid ladies. <laughs> I wonder where they're going. Look. Just have a look at this picture. What do you think is happening? Oh, it looks like magic. I can see Julian reading a book. Have a look at his smile. How does he look? He's smiling. He's happy. Oh, I think his book is coming to life. Oh, the imagination. <gasps> can you do that? Can you do some pretend swimming? <gasps> wow. What do you think he's going to imagine? Whoosh. So many beautiful colours and creatures that live in the sea. And there is Julian. Oh, oh. wow. And now what is happening? Tell your grown-up or whoever's with you what is happening to Julian. Where are his legs? <gasps> he gasped. <gasps> Yippee! Look as he's doing that back bend. Do you think he looks happy or sad? I think he's very, very happy to be swimming and swishing his tail. Can you swish your tail? Swish, swish, swish. It's a bit like dancing. <gasps> Whoa. Who's this? A very big fish. Looks like she has some treasure. Let's find out. Oh, we're back on the tram or the train. 
Let's go, honey. This is our stop, says Nana. Oh, oh look, his new friends are waving. the mermaids? I saw them, honey. I think they're walking. I wonder where they're going. Nana? I am also a mermaid, said Julian. In they go. I'm going to take a bath. You be good, says Nana. I think he's back at Nana's house. Julian has an idea. Oh, what do you think his idea is? Have a look at the picture. Oh, he's taking his shoes off, his vest off, his shorts off. Now he's just in his uh, uh, underpants. Oh, what's he doing with the plant? And what's he doing in the mirror? I think he's dressing up. blows the wind and the curtains oh, just like this oh Julian what are you going to do oh, he's borrowing the curtains he's he's wrapping them around his tummy oh. he looks awfully proud uh oh how do you think Nana is feeling about her best curtains being wrapped around Julian's tummy? Oh! Oh, Julian, how do you think he feels now? Come here, honey, says Nana. Uh-oh. Do you think she's going to tell him off? <gasps> For me, Nana. For you, Julian. Look. Does that look familiar? She's giving him some treasure to wear. <gasps> Oh, wow. And look, she's got a fancy parasol. Julian's got his headdress and they are stepping out. Isn't that nice? She helped him to dress up. Where are we going? Said Julian as they walked down the street. It must be a very hot day. I can see people wearing sunglasses and look, the sun's shining so brightly you can see people's shadows. And I think that's why Nana's got a parasol. It's like an umbrella, but it keeps the sunshine off if it's too hot. Where are we going? said Julian. You'll see, says Nana. <gasps> Mermaids, whispers Julian. Baby lobster. Wow, lots of fancy dress. Oops. Like you, honey. Let's join them, says Nana. How do you think Julian's feeling? Nana's ready to join the party. But Julian, he's hiding a little bit. I think he might be a little bit, maybe not scared, but just a small bit shy. A little bit frightened, maybe. A little bit overwhelmed. Sometimes when you haven't done something before, it takes a little bit of courage to take the first step. But look, there's another little friend and lots of other mermaids. And they do join them. Look! 
look at that beautiful under the sea parade. How do you think Julie and the mermaid is feeling there? I think so too, pretty happy. Oh, and all of those beautiful, beautiful colours. What's this? Underwater mermaids? Remember a picture just like this, a little bit like this, not just like this, at the beginning. Let's have a look. Oh, Julian at the swimming pool. Oh, Julian's imagination. He really has become a mermaid. The end. That was a beautiful story. So just just imagine anything you can dream in your mind, you can imagine to be that. I wonder what you're going to be.